Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing our playthrough of Neverwinter Nights. In the last episode, we cleared out uh, the north area and most of this east area. And we have several different caves that we need to hop into. We're here in the fire giant lair trying to uh, figure out what's going on with Klauf, an ancient red dragon who is trying to extend his life by consuming the life essence of baby dragons. Or young dragons, hatchlings, things like that. Um... He also has a word of power that we need, so that's what that's why we're down here in the first place. Um, we're not necessarily concerned about saving red dragons, but oh, 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 oh! Okay, I gotta kill these freaking slad. Die, die. Okay, if I can kill the if I can kill the actual slad, then the summoned ones will disappear. Come on, kill it, kill it. Which one is this? Oh, there's another full-on one over here. Death Slad Lord. No, I don't want to fight you. I'm not by myself, anyway. Come on. Nope. I have a feeling one hit from him on me is going to kill me. Okay. That was not... That was... It wasn't that bad, but it felt like it was going to be bad. Okay, here's another one of these ritual books, right? Yeah. Don't really need another one of those. Okay, um... Not sure what I'm supposed to do over here, if anything. So... We'll move on to the next deep cave. There's two deep caves and then one that's marked as Klauth's lair. What's up? Let me just double get off the terrain, please. Me and ter there's something about me and terrain, man. I don't know what it is. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's anything I can actually. Oh, there's a chest here. Totally didn't see it. This is why you have to make sure you do the highlight thingy. See the highlighting? You got to make sure you're highlighting when you're walking around because it will show you things that you didn't see before. Hopefully it's not tra yeah, it's always trapped. They're always trapped. And there's no quick way to do it. You just have to wait for the game to say, oh, you can see the trap now. Armor of Horus Ray. I mean, that's cool. But unfortunately, I can't use it, so whatever. Okay. So I don't know that there's anything else we can do here, which means we need to go into the next cave and see if there's anything to do there. Nothing to interact with here. So let's go back up the stairs. And we'll check out this one. I know I'm being impatient, but it's like, come on, man. Just If there's a trap there, if I have the ability to see it, just roll the check immediately and then let me see it. I think this is probably the dragon that we have to figure out. more. Dragon Pedestal Orb. I'm guessing... Oh, here we go. Well, hopefully this dragon will have some information for us. Because it seems like we... It seems like we have to put a dead dragon in here to absorb it into the pedestal where the sphere is going to be. But that dragon's not dead, so... Maybe he'll uh, sacrifice himself for the cause. But we'll have a conversation with him and find out. 
Because he's not hostile. Oh, it's asleep. Okay. So, am I supposed to kill it? It's an impossible... It has an impossible challenge rating, which is not overcomable, but it means it's going to be a difficult fight if I try to kill it. Maybe it's completely past... Maybe it's, like, permanently put to sleep. Okay. Let's try, I guess. Yeah, there we go again. And of course, he has no ability to... He's, he's, he has no ability to resist this... And then now I'm not down. No, I'm not trying to attack. Let me run. Let me run away. The, oh man, his his freaking thing is just so large that it's impossible to do anything. And he's not. He can't do anything because he's terrified out of his mind. Ridiculously high level, and he still can't. Res he still can't resist the fear of a freaking dragon. And I have no way of preventing that, preventing him from doing that. Like, no way for me to hit this thing. No way for me to hide from it. Like, I'm not even getting sneak attacks on it. And I can't do anything if Dalen is just not going to fight. He's just going to—he just sits there, terrified out of his mind. Every dragon we fight, it's like that. All right, I need—I need another option. I can't—I can't fight this. Um, well, let's try interacting with the pedestal and see what happens with that. Now we have to put something on it. Are we missing an item? It's the fountain here. So there's a dragon sphere. So the problem is, is that we need for this dragon to die. But I have no way of killing him because... There's nothing I can't he's not he's use, he's completely useless in the, in these fights because the dragon fear just takes him out immediately. Oh, this is annoying. All right. Well, well, I guess we'll try to do it the way we did last time. Um I'm going to I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'll do what I did the last time I fought a dragon and I'll try to drag him around the cave shooting shooting crossbow bolts at him as I go and Slowly whittle him down. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do that. So I will pause the video while I do that. And then when I'm done, we'll continue on. And hopefully he'll be... Hopefully... Does he have to be in here? Um, let me look up a guide and see if there's an easier way to do this. Because I'm pretty sure he needs... Well, I don't know if he needs... I think he needs to be inside this little area here when he dies. And if I'm dragging him around, he won't be. So let me look and make sure that there's not an easier way to do this. Because I just... I don't want to waste time. I'll be right back. All right. Well, after way more gold than I wanted to spend, I finally took down the dragon. I had to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I might as well have just went and killed the dragon. It took as much effort to kill this thing as it's probably gonna as it probably would have taken me to just kill the other one. What's the point in making it so that you can make an enemy weaker when you still have to fight a dragon anyway to make it weaker? It, it, it took ridiculous amounts of freaking repeats and repeats to make that to make that happen. I'm really annoyed at this point. I'm really, really annoyed at this point. It was completely unreasonable. And Dalen was kept getting dragon feared over and over and over again. He just would not fight. He didn't want to fight. 
So much for the fearless Uthgart freaking barbarians or Uthgart tribes or whatever whatever you want to call it. He was completely useless. Oh, the dragon is dragging it. Okay, well, you're not nothing, dude. How about you fight him instead of running away? You spent half the time fighting him as you did running away. We could have killed him a long time ago. Come on, hit him. So now I get to spend another 400 gold going back to freaking... I, I just, I don't have patience for grindy stuff like this. Unnecessary grindy stuff like this. Don't put dragons, don't put dragons on the menu if, if you're not going to make it to where it's a reasonable fight. Just don't do it. Especially when it's not the final boss. If it's not the final boss, it, it should not be something that takes more than, like, one or two attempts to do it. It just really shouldn't. There's too many game designers who think that difficult means fun. It, no, it doesn't. It means irritating and stupid and makes me want to strangle you for making the game the way you made it. Some of us have better things to do than sit here and take 20 tries trying to get something done. Really do. All right. But at least we have the dead dragon sphere that we can feed to Clouth, which is supposed to weaken him. But from what I'm read, that doesn't necessarily make, mean it's going to make it make it any easier of a time for you. So we'll see. Why am I being attacked by fireballs? Well, fortunately, I have uncanny dodge, so that allows me to bypass most of that. But not for Daylin, because he doesn't have it. You cannot rest so soon after exerting yourself. Yay. All right, let's see how this goes. So, at last you have come. I assume my fire giant servants are dead. No matter. They are of little consequence to me. I can find other servants. Perhaps even you will serve. Come closer. I will not harm you. These last days of the eons of my life pass slowly now, and I would speak with you to break the monotony. Mm -mm. Uh, I have an essence sphere here. Ah, an essence sphere with the soul of a full-grown dragon already trapped within for me to feast upon. Give it to me, Radiant Ramian, and I shall reward you with a mountain of gold from my vast horde. My vast horde. Here is your reward, 5,000 gold pieces. Now I must savor this sweet essence of life. That's it for you! Take that! Uh, okay. What's going on here? Ow! This is what I'm talking about. Daylin is such a little wuss that he runs away at the first sign of the dragon. So come close. Get away. Get away. Get away. Oh, that's so annoying. No, no. I, I need you to attack. Nope. Sorry, we're not doing that. You're going to stand there and fight. You're going to stand there and fight. You're going you're gonna to pass your save. You're going to stand there and fight. Because I'm not going to sit here and kill this thing all by myself. I'm just not doing it. So come close. It's badly wounded. Ow. You see what I mean? It's like... You can't rely on him at all. He will not fight it. And then the dragon is so big that... Alright, we're just... Alright, Dalen. 
Let's rest so that you can get over your little fear. You know. Okay, seriously? The fear needs to go away. Thank you. Now we'll quick save. This is what I did. I, I come back here, and when he died, I would just come back here and just pay the, in, the inordinate amount of freaking gold that it took to do this. So, what does he have on him now? Great. This is an expensive way to do this, but it's the only way to do this. Can't he's got some kind of shield on him that's preventing preventing me from damaging him from from hitting him without being damaged myself. So we're just gonna have to force him to waste his oh did he die? <laughs> we're just gonna have to force him to waste his spells and waste his abilities and stuff. It's expensive, but it's the only way to get this done. I don't have the brute strength to just jump in there and do this. He's, it says he's afraid, but he's actually fighting it. At least he was. This is the kind of irritating stuff that just makes games... It makes me not want to play games sometimes. It's just like, come on. It's fine if you want to make a challenging encounter, but this isn't challenging. This is just irritating. There's no way to do this without cheesing it like this. Like, I can't even hit him. I can't even hit him. And as soon as he gets afraid, we're done. Because I can't have him... I can't have the dragon attacking me. I can only take, like, two hits, and then I'm done. So now we're going to spend several thousand gold doing this over and over again. Because he can't get over his fear. He's supposed to be this... No... I, I gotta re—I gotta reload when he does that. I need him to fight. He's got to stand there and take some damage and hopefully deal out some damage. He needs to pass his fear save. Okay, well at least he's gonna stand there now. But now, but now, see, I can't have the dragon attacking me. <laughs> he's got to stand there and fight the damn thing. He can't run away. You can't. You cannot run away. You have to fight him. No, you have to fight him. It's not a choice. You got to do it. Of course, he's stunned now, so I can't... He does something for like two seconds. So he saves his fear he saves his fear thing, but then then he gets stunned, which is basically the same thing. I need him to fight. I need you to fight and actually do something. He is more and more becoming a completely worthless companion because if he can't like he can't even do anything against this. This is ridiculous. I need him to actually dish out some damage. Now I'm paralyzed, so... I, I, what am I supposed to do here? I can't, I can't move away, so I'm just going to continue taking damage every round. I can't move away, so I'm just going to continue taking damage every round. Okay, well, at least he's taking some damage. We're going to teleport back, and we'll rest, and hopefully we can just do it again. I, like this, I, I don't have patience for this kind of stuff. Battles should not be set up in such a way that you have to cheese it to win. And you see yeah, how I have... There's no, there's no way for me to do this without cheesing it. I should not have to continually teleport back, back and forth to do this. And see, and he knocked me down so that there's nothing I can do. You gotta stand and fight. You have to. It's not a choice, Dalen. You gotta fight him. You have to fight him. It's it's not an option. Yeah. 
This is the frustration that I go through every time we fight one of these dragons. Is Dalen going to run away like a little bitch? Yep, most of the time he's going to. And I have no way, I, I, like, there's no possible way for me to hit this thing. Not before he kills me like that. The only reason why we have any chance at all of doing anything against this guy is because we were able to use that stupid sphere thing on him. Okay, well, we got a little bit of damage out of him. It was expensive. That was expensive. That was an expensive seven hit points of damage, but I can't... There's nothing else I can do. I gotta... I fell. I gotta do this. Dude, attack! Can't do anything when he runs away. Of course, I take damage. It's just, it's unreasonable, man. I need you to like shoot at him. Thank you. Um, this this strategy sometimes works better. Just depends on if I'm actually able to hit, make hits or not. Nope, 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 nope. Run, 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 run. Yeah. Yeah. Be nice if I could land hits though. If you can hit him, this is a decent strategy. And it only works because I have haste. If I didn't have haste, I wouldn't be able to move fast enough for this to work. Ah, that's it for you. Take that. But it seems like this strategy, especially since he's so close to death already, is probably my best. All right, enough with the pausing, seriously. I don't know what's going on with the game that's making it like freeze like that, but I need it to stop. This is hard enough to do without having to fight with graphical lag or whatever it is. Come on! Hit the damn thing! Oh my god! I'm like, this is... Yeah! Yeah! Shoot. Okay, I'm, I seriously really wish that the graph, that these little pauses would stop happening. It's hard enough to time this without having a random pause come in and just screw with me. Okay, stop. Hit the thing, please. This is this is so irritating. This is so irritating. <laughs> it would be nice if I could actually hit him. Dalen's completely useless over here. He never gets over his fear. He never, like, rolls a saving throw and then comes back to join the fight. He just sits over there for the rest of the time. He will not get over it. I don't know if that's a bug in the game. It's just, it's, it's extremely frustrating. He never comes back to join the fight, ever. I can sit here for an hour and he will not come back. He'll follow me around a little bit, but he won't fight. Yeah. 
No, no, no. There's nothing I can do with this. Like, what am I supposed to do? And I need, I need, I need to teleport away, but I can't because now he's too close to me. <laughs> bad game design. This is bad game design. If you have to have a certain class combination or whatever, th this bad game design. I shouldn't have to have a tank. I shouldn't have to play a tanky character to have any chance of actually fe defeating these powerful things. This should not be what's required. What business do level 12 characters have fighting an ancient red dragon with just two people? None. No part, no Dungeons and Dragons party is ever going to fight an ancient red dragon with two people. I mean, it would be nice if he would actually do some damage. We can't, we can't get anything done this way. We can't get anything done this way. I felt... And then he runs away like a little bitch. I need him to fight. I need him to fight. He can't run away like that. He can't. He cannot do that. There's no point in even continuing the fight if he just runs away. No, I, I, I gotta keep trying and over and over again until he stops running away like a little fucking bitch. Nope. Can't do anything with that. It's ridiculous. The fear save for these dragons should not be as difficult as it is. He's a freaking barbarian. Right? He's a barbarian. They should they have like some kind they should have some kind of fear resistance or something. There's nothing I can do when it's like this. You don't design games around che cheesy, stupid crap. Where you have to get super lucky to win the fight. You do not design games this way. Yes. I don't know who thought that this was a good idea, but it's not. And at least we finally did some freaking damage to him. But then I did the damage and then I died. I was like, what the? You see this? There's this, this is not a fight. This is figure out a way to manipulate the game to hopefully sometime, someday, finally get something done. This is unreasonable. And then he disarms me. This is, this is not okay. It's not okay. It's really, really not okay. And then he runs. All right. You know, I'm going to, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here because I, I have to do this over and over again until he dies. So I'll be back with the next episode when the stupid dragon is dead and we're able to move on with the story because I'm not wasting any more of your guys' time with this stupidity. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.